law enforcement agencies, government officials, community leaders, and residents. Continuous evaluation and adaption of strategies based on the evolving nature of crime are crucial for long-term success. Regular patrols, both on foot and in vehicles, can act as a physical, a visible deterrent and provide a sense of security for residents. Specialized units, establish specialized units within the police force to tackle specific types of crimes such as gangs, drugs, and cybercrime. The units can employ expert knowledge and resources to investigate and disrupt criminal activities effectively. Community outreach programs. Implement community-based programs that address the root causes of crime. These programs can include mentorship initiatives, after-school activities, job training, and substance abuse treatment programs. By providing opportunities and support, these programs help steer individuals away from criminal behavior. Collaboration with nonprofit organizations. Partner with local nonprofit organizations. At risk individuals promote rehabilitation and reintegration efforts and address underlying social issues that contribute to crime. Enhance surveillance and technology. Utilize advanced surveillance systems such as CCTV can identify crime trends and allocate resources effectively. Strengthen gun control measures. Advocate for stricter gun control regulations and enforcement to reduce the availability of firearms to criminals. Implement measures such as background checks, safe storage requirements, and, an educated, and education campaigns to promote responsible gun ownership. Support of housing initiatives. Invest in supportive housing programs for individuals experiencing homelessness and mental health issues. By providing stable housing and access to support services, these initiatives can help address the root causes of criminal behavior associated with homelessness. Education and youth programs. Prioritize quality, prioritize quality of education and provide opportunities for youth engagement to prevent them from being drawn into criminal activities. Fund funding for schools, extracurricular activities. It's important that implementing these solutions requires a com comprehensive and collaborative effort involving law enforcement agencies, government officials, community leaders, and residents. Continuous evaluation and adaption of strategies based on the evolving nature of crime are crucial for long-term success.
Thank you. 
downtown San Francisco. Keeping businesses in downtown San Francisco requires a multifaceted approach that addresses the concerns and challenges faced by both businesses and the community. Here are some strategies that can help in retaining businesses in downtown San Francisco. Strengthen infrastructure. Enhance the infrastructure of the downtown San Francisco to attract and retain businesses. This includes improving transportation systems, upgrading utilities, and ensuring reliable internet connectivity. Reduce operating costs. Address the high operating costs associated with, run, associated with running a business in San Francisco. This can be done by advocating for tax incentives, reducing regulatory burdens, and exploring opportunities to share resources and services among businesses. Foster collaboration, encourage collaboration between businesses, local government, and community organizations. This can be achieved through business associations, networking events, and regular dialogues to address concerns and find common solutions. Enhance safety and security. Improve safety and security measures to create a conducive environment for businesses. Work closely with local law enforcement agencies to address crime rates, invest in surveillance systems, and implement effective community policing strategies. Support small businesses. Pro provide targeted support to small businesses which can often face unique challenges. Offer resources such as training programs, mentorship opportunities, and access to affordable loans or grants to help them thrive in the competitive market. Promote cultural and community activities. Foster a vibrant and engaging downtown environment by supporting cultural events, festivals, and community activities. This not only attracts visitors, but also creates a sense of pride and belonging among local businesses and its residents. Streamline permitting processes. Simplify and expedite the permitting and licensing processes for businesses. This reduces the administrative burden and encourages entrepreneurs to establish and expand their operations in downtown San Francisco. Collaborate with educational institutions and vocational training centers to develop programs that equip the local group of workforce with skills needed by businesses. This ensures a talent pool that meets the demands of a diverse range of industries. Preserve the historic identity that attracts businesses and visitors. Establish an urban revitalization. Support urban revitalization initiatives that focus on enhancing public spaces, improving walkability, and creating attractive amenities. This can include developing parks, bike lanes, and pedestrian-friendly streetscapes. It's important to note that retaining businesses in any city requires ongoing collaboration and ad adaptation. Regularly ad assessing the needs of, and concerns of businesses, addressing them proactively and adapting strategies to changing market conditions will contribute to a thriving downtown San Francisco. Yeah. 
collaborate with local universities, foster partnerships with local universities and colleges to establish research centers or innovative clusters in downtown San Francisco. This collaboration can attract businesses looking to leverage academic expertise, access talent, and engage in research and development activities. Engage in public-private partnerships. Foster collaboration between the public and the private sectors to attract businesses. Work with developers, property owners, and community organizations to create an attractive business ecosystem through joint investments, shared marketing efforts, and coordinated development plans. Invest in public spaces amenities. Develop and maintain attractive public spaces, parks, and recreational areas in downtown San Francisco. Invest in beautification projects, public art installations, and downtown outdoor seating areas. This enhances the overall appeal of the area and makes it more inviting to businesses and visitors alike. Focus on sustainability and green initiatives. Promote sustainable practices and green initiatives to the downtown area. Encourage businesses to adopt environmentally friendly practices, providing incentives for energy efficient and promote green transportation options. This positions downtown San Francisco as a leader in sustainability and attracts businesses with a focus on corporate social responsibility. By implementing these strategies, downtown San Francisco can become a thriving business hub, attracting a diverse range of businesses and contribute to the economic growth of the area. Downtown San Francisco. This contributes to the overall appeal of all area and helps create a distinct identity that attracts businesses and visitors. Established in urban revitalization. Support urban revitalization initiatives that focus on enhancing public spaces, improving walkability, and creating attractive amenities. This can include developing parks, bike lanes, and pedestrian-friendly streetscapes. It's important to note that retaining businesses in any city requires ongoing collaboration and adaptation. Regularly ad assessing the needs of, and concerns of businesses, addressing them proactively and adapting strategies to changing market conditions will contribute to a thriving downtown San Francisco. leaving them unable to fight against big corporations that deny their claims. That's why I propose creating an office of counselors funded by raised taxes on insurance corporations to help these vulnerable populations. The office would provide legal support and representation to those who need it most, ensuring that they have a fair chance in court will need to work closely with legal and political experts to ensure that this idea is feasible and will need to recruit and train the right people. But I am committed to making this happen and I believe it is the right thing to do for our community.